Japan's first bullet train was meant to connect Osaka and Tokyo, which resulted in the travel time between the two centers being cut from 7 hours to 4. This was back in 1964, right before the nation hosted the Olympics. Since then, Japan has built an extensive high-speed rail system that's considered to be one of the best in the world. It's one of the main ways to travel in Japan and is a fixture in the country's society. Over in Canada, we have a very different situation when looking at the ways people travel. A very small fraction of people use rail to get between major centers, while the majority either travel by vehicle or plane. Today, we're going to look at why Canada doesn't have high-speed rail and if there are plans for it in the future. First off, we're going to compare Japan and Canada, especially looking at their respective land masses. Canada is considered to be the second largest country by area in the world, while Japan comes in in the 63rd spot. Based on this fact alone, the amount of track that's required in Japan to connect major centers is significantly less than in Canada. Also relating to this, because Canada has a very high labor cost, which I will say has its benefits, building this massive amount of track from the east coast to west coast, connecting all major centers would have an astronomical price tag that just doesn't make sense, especially based on the population density of Canada. Canada has a very low population density, as a lot of our major cities are hours apart other than the Windsor to Quebec City corridor. Because of this, less people would have access to high-speed rail if such system was built. Japan, on the other hand, has a very high population density, with a lot of their major cities in the southern portion of the country. This allows for more people being able to use the rail system, and therefore being more economically viable. This points to the reality that if Canada were to build a high-speed rail system, it would have to be heavily subsidized by government, or ticket prices would be very expensive for the comparatively few riders. Now looking into the future, there is a possibility of Canada getting a high-speed rail system, but definitely not from coast to coast to coast. If we take a look at this area from Windsor, Ontario to Quebec City, Quebec, it can be deduced that it's probably the most heavily populated area in Canada. There has been discussion within the federal government to build a bullet train system in this region, but unfortunately, it's been shut down multiple times due to high cost and the possibility of not enough riders. One location that hasn't been discussed yet is the Edmonton to Red Deer to Calgary corridor in Alberta. There's a private company out of Toronto called Transpod that's proposed this and it's become more and more popular throughout the last couple of years. So much so, that it just needs the City of Edmonton's approval to begin Phase 1 which would connect downtown Edmonton to the Edmonton International Airport. After that, it would need certification from Transport Canada to go ahead with connecting the two major city centres. It's estimated that if everything goes according to plan, this high-speed train could be open to the public in the 2030s. Eventually, if this gets built, it will allow riders to get between Edmonton and Calgary in about 45 minutes compared to the two hours it takes right now by vehicle. So with all this information, one can see that Canada won't be getting nationwide high-speed rail anytime soon. However, there are certain areas in the country that may just be getting this revolutionary method of travel. If high-speed rail were to open in your region, would you use it? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next week.